I thought I'd give fishing a try today. Behind me is Lake Thingvalivan. I hope that's somewhat close to correct, and probably not. But um, in any case, it's a beautiful area. I didn't catch any fish, but there are uh, apparently Arctic char and large brown trout here. The license you can pick up, they're $20 a day. If you forget your rod, there are gas stations called N1 gas stations. They all sell rods. This is a really interesting area. There's two tectonic plates that meet here uh, and make a ridge. So you have the North American and the Eurasian plates meeting. And then historically, it's where, uh, again, I don't know if I'm saying this right, the Thingvalir, which was the first Icelandic parliament would meet here and make new laws and adjudicate those laws. And Iceland has the longest continuously running parliament in the world. So this is where it all began. Run through quickly everything we got on the menu here. Um, a lot of traditional foods. So this is similar to bakalao. It's dried cod, but also salty. And traditionally they would have on the boats pounded it with a hammer. But this one they actually roll through something more sanitary. Um, but it's nice and flaky and great with the local Icelandic butter. Um, so then we have dung smoked lamb and dung smoked northern salmon, Icelandic salmon, and it's on this rye bread that's cooked under the uh, thermal sands. And then here, this one I'm really excited about. It's the only time I would ever try this. Um, this is whale, but they only kill one a year. So it's, um, they would do that for research anyhow, so I don't have to feel so guilty about trying it. So it's super tender. It looks a bit like meat. We had to try the famous fermented shark. Uh, and here it is. So this is eaten traditionally between January and February, and we don't know what type of shark it is, but they bury it for six to eight weeks to ferment, and then hang it to dry for about uh, two to three weeks. Here we go. You know, it's a lot better than I expected. It's um, mild. Uh, I was expecting something really intense, uh, but it is a little bit ammoniated, like Windex. And uh, you always hear me. So you're supposed to chase it with this local version of a uh, vodka. Behind me is a glacier and underneath that is an active volcano called Kakla, which is the name of a series on Netflix right now. You may want to check it out, based here in Iceland. But uh, that volcano spews out all this black ash, which lands on the ice and then holds heat and causes it to melt faster. You can see a piece right here, how the volcanic ash is actually in the ice. So I parked on the side of the road to check out this stream and discovered this beautiful porcini mushroom, which I've never actually found one of these before, but that was cool. Maybe I'll find more and I can bring them to a restaurant. So 
So the hot dogs are really great, but don't feel like it's the only thing you can eat here because when you see prices on the menu, remember you don't have to tip and there are no taxes. Um, so really the prices are not much more expensive than any normal major city, but these things are good. went for a swim in the famous Blue Lagoon behind me and I thought I'd share a few facts and things that I learned while here. First of all, it's really bright white. It's like watch, walking over a patch of snow, so bring some sunglasses even when you're in swimming. Uh, I forgot that. And they built this power plant in the 1970s, uh, but when the water came up, it was full of the silica and they didn't expect that. They were expecting clean water. So um, they tried running the power plant for a bit, but the silica actually eroded the equipment and put the whole power plant out of business for a while and was filled with water inside the actual buildings. So one of the workers started jumping in it and swimming in it. And he had psoriasis, which after a few days healed. And um, a local doctor heard about this and studied it a bit and found out that the water was actually healing for a lot of skin diseases. So he purchased all this land and built the uh, Blue Lagoon Hotel and developed it into this tourist attraction. But it's pretty cool. So the power plant, well, in any case, the power plant now operates. They rebuild it with new equipment, uh, specifically for this type of water. There's only one other power plant like it in the north of, of Iceland. And um, so designed to use the silica water. And once they've used the steam and made the electricity, it's pumped over into these pools where it's still very hot. And that's what we're swimming in. This is Arctic time or Icelandic time. It's these beautiful purple flowers on it. And it's much more fragrant than our normal time. Uh, I'm not in the food business anymore, but I can see this becoming a trend over the next couple of years if supply somehow became available. I think that's what's probably holding it back. But if chefs could get it, this would be the only time they'd ever use. And uh, it's fantastic. I've been eating it just off and out of the wild here. Okay, thank you.